Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, I hope you are all doing well. In this video I am going to show you 5 tips to increase your speed in 3D modeling. So let's get started. The first tip is, how you can quickly select multiple faces of an object. Let's create a cylinder here. Now, I will turn off the grid, so that we can see clearly. Now then, I will give some edge loops to this cylinder. From here, increase the subdivision heights, and subdivision caps, let's give them 10. Now, there are many ways to select multiple faces. If you want to select the first face loop, go to face mode, select one face, then hold shift and double click on the other face. It will select the whole face loop. Just hold shift, select one face, then by holding shift double click on the other one to select the face loop. But if you double click on the first face itself, it will select the entire faces of the object. Select one face first, then by holding shift double click the other one to select that face loop. Another way to select the face loop is, go to any orthographic view, either side view or front view, then drag and select the face loop. Then if you want to select another face loop, hold shift and drag and select another loop. Now, if you want to deselect the face loop, you need to hold control key and drag on that face loop to deselect that loop. So remember, hold shift and drag to select, and hold control and drag to deselect. Similarly, for the top faces also, it is the same process to select the face loop. Select one face, then by holding shift double click on the other one to select the face loop. But you cannot select the innermost face loop using this method. You can select the face loops till here. So the quickest way to select the innermost face loop is, go to vertex mode, select the center vertex, then press Ctrl and F11 on your keyboard, to select the inner face loop. Now, you can increase the selection by pressing Shift and greater than key on your keyboard. Now, for deselecting the face loops, press Ctrl key, click on one face, then double click on the other face. So this way you can quickly select and deselect multiple faces of an object. The second tip is, different ways to extrude faces of an object. Go to face mode, and select the faces that you want to extrude. There are a couple of ways you can apply extrude. Most basic method is, click on edit mesh, under here, you will find extrude. Click on it. And then you can move up, using the moving tool, or you can use different channels over here. It takes time to go to edit mesh and selecting extrude, which will slow you down in your workflow. So, the quick way to apply extrude is, by holding shift key, then right click on the mouse, and then you will find extrude down here. And then move up using move tool. This method of applying extrude takes less time, and it will help to increase your speed in modeling, because you don't have to move your mouse so much. Another quick and easy way to extrude face is to, select the move tool, then by holding shift key, move up to extrude the face. Hold shift and move up, and it will extrude the face quickly. This is the quickest way to extrude the face. You can use this method, or you can do by holding shift right click and extrude. Both of these methods will help you increase the speed of your workflow. The third tip is, creating edge from the center. Let's create a cube. I will turn off the grid so that we can see it clearly. Now, you can create an edge loop from the center by increasing the subdivision's values by 2. But this method works only on the default objects. If you make any adjustments in the object, then you cannot use this method. Let's see an example. Let's extrude this face from here. And then, I want to give an edge loop from the center in this area. If you try to do it by increasing the subdivision's values, it will destroy the mesh. 
So the quickest way to give an edge loop from the center is, go to edge mode. Now, I want to give an edge loop horizontally from here. So select one of the vertical edge, then hold control key, right click, go to edge ring utilities, then to edge ring and split. It will create an edge loop from the center. It is the quickest way to create edge loop from the center. Just select an edge, then hold control key, right click, go to edge ring utilities, then to edge ring and split. This method will help you to increase the speed of your workflow, and you can quickly create an edge loop from the center. You can press G key to repeat the last command, but in this method you don't have to move your hand too much from your place, and it will increase your speed. The fourth tip is, Multicut Tool. Multicut Tool is a very helpful tool, which is used to cut, slice, and insert edge loops. You can find the Multicut Tool under Mesh Tools. The default hotkey is, Ctrl plus Shift plus X. Another way to select the Multicut Tool is, select the object first, then hold Shift, right click, and then here, you can select Multicut Tool. Now, for example, if you want to connect an edge from one corner to another corner, you can use the multi-cut tool to do that. So let's zoom it a bit, you can see it is turning into red when you hover over the edge. So click and drag till the end of the edge to select the vertex, go to the other corner, and select the corner vertex, or you can drag on the edge till the end, to select the corner vertex. Then press enter to complete the cut, or you can press right click to complete the cut. In this way you can connect one corner to another corner with the help of multi-cut tool. You can use this tool to give edge wherever you want. Now, if you click on the edge and drag you can see the exact value where you can connect. You can also connect it to the center by holding shift key. Now, you can hold control key and hover over to any edge and then left click to give insert edge loop. Another way you can use multi-cut tool is by holding shift key and drag from one end to the other to make an edge loop. It will not insert the edge loop properly if you do it from the perspective view. So go to any orthographic view and then hold shift and drag to insert edge loop. Then it will give a better result. You can insert as many edge loops you want, and in any direction, with the help of multi-cut tool. The fifth tip is, how to use bridge tool. For this example, let's create a cube. Turn off the grid so that we can see better. Now, I will insert some edge loops in this cube. Now then, go to face mode, and I will delete couple of faces. Let's assume that while creating a model, I accidentally deleted some of the faces, which are not supposed to get deleted. So to fix this kind of problem, go to edge mode, then select these edges by holding the shift key. Then go to edit mesh, you will find bridge over here. But there is another method of selecting bridge is by holding shift, right click, and then here you will find bridge. It will fill the empty faces by maintaining the edge flow. Let's see another example how can we use this bridge tool. Let's duplicate this object. Now select one object, then shift and select the other one, then either go to mesh and you can select combine. Or you can hold shift, right click, and here you can select combine. It will combine both the objects and make it one object. Now, go to face mode, select one face from here, hold shift and select another face from here. Then hold shift, right click and choose bridge faces. It will connect those two faces. You can connect individual faces, as well as multiple faces at the same time. For example, let's select these faces from this side, and then select these faces from the other side. And now, if you apply bridge faces, it will connect all those faces at once.
there are a couple of channels under bridge that you can also use. For example, let's connect these faces. Then here you will find different options that you can use. These are very helpful in their own way, try it out and use them wisely. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comment section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.